I won't lie to you. The difference between Morgan and Akiflow is not simple. I mean, Morgan is, you know, the time management and like calendar app, but I just want to get people thinking away from that. Get it, get, get out, get that thought. You see that thought you get in your head? Just move it, just leave it. Cause you know, like Akiflow has been pegged as a daily planner app, but it's, yeah. Morgan kind of is too. And I say that because first and foremost, it's one of those applications where unlike Akiflow, which is $15 a month minimum, this is a free option, which has virtual conference integrations, calendar support, task management, scheduling links without you needing to pay anything, or you can get the premium version for $4 a month. And while it won't have the same number of integrations, which we'll get into, it does pretty much what you need. Just like diving into this software, first and foremost, I just pressed Control K and I have Quick Capture, which Akiflow and other daily planner apps has had for a while. But you know what Morgan has that Akiflow doesn't? A price that won't absolutely destroy your bank account. Obviously, I don't know how much is in your bank account, but $15 versus free is obviously a lot different per month, considering one is nothing. Now, I know. Akiflow is the kind of application that has Slack, Gmail, Notion, a million different integrations. I've made some videos about this application on my YouTube channel before. You can check that out and see all the different ways that this tool can be used. I'm just trying to make a point that Morgan, as an application, doesn't have an exceptionally less amount of integrations. And it's only a few integrations away from being like, maybe it's just as good from a uh, task management, bringing it in standpoint. I know the only integrations that we really have are Todoist, Google Tasks, Microsoft To Do, but, 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 but. What Morgan does have is a very easy to use interface, a great mobile app that allows you to have scheduling links made really quickly, tasks integrated, and like I mentioned, a very simple command bar that for me is easy to use. Why am I making this such a big public service announcement? Why am I getting all like, you know, lovey-dovey about Morgan? Is this video sponsored? No. Do I like them? Yeah. Am I, do I make videos for their company uh, internally? Yeah. Do I sometimes am I the face of the app? Yes. But I just wanted to make this video because I think it's important that we get a little bit out of the mindset of thinking about applications as what they are on the surface versus what they can do for us from a service level. So for example, people often think of these daily planner apps uh, as being expensive. I'm talking Sensama, I'm talking Akiflow, I'm talking, there's another one, well, there was Friday, it doesn't exist anymore. Routine's another good one. And then Motion, like all these different daily planner apps, they have this fee attached to it. And I'm just saying, just because one thing is marked in the marketing material as a daily planner, and one is not, does not mean that this thing can't be your daily planner. I have a friend, his name's Danny Hatcher, very smart guy, big research heavy guy cool dude, huge Obsidian guy, but also huge Morgan guy. And when he started using Morgan for his calendar and task management, I was like, hey, that's pretty smart. Maybe I should start doing that. You know why? Because he's not paying for it. I mean, granted, probably could get it for free, the pro version, as he's a super fan of the product and makes YouTube videos. But even with just the free version, he has completely daily planner capabilities, scheduling link capabilities, and he doesn't have to worry about that ridiculous price tag attached to it. I'm not saying Akiflow is bad. I'm not saying Sensama is bad. I'm not saying Motion is bad. I'm saying Motion is the worst out of those. But I am saying that it's important to start thinking about applications in a different way than what the marketing material is pegged as. Like we got ClickUp, which could be considered the one app to rule them all based on the marketing material, but it is clearly not. It's buggy as heck. Avoid this concept of Akiflow versus Morgan as two different segments of application. I don't put Cron and Morgan in the same category. They're both calendar apps, but truly Cron has no task management capability and it only has Google Calendar integration. It's a Google UI change. It's a Google Calendar UI change. Morgan has Outlook and Google Calendar, so it's like able to take my work calendar, my task management, all that kind of stuff and put it in one place. I don't see how you can compare those two things just based off of what the marketing material is. You got to compare it based on what they actually do. Hope this thought exercise sparked something in your brain, made you think a little different. And I hope you like this video on how to improve your productivity even more.